In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set and optimize for a focus key phrase in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know what a focus keyword is or a focus key phrase or a search term and why it's important. But if you wanna read up a little bit more on the why of things, we have a companion blog post on our blog at aioseo.com slash blog that dives into more detail on this topic. This video is gonna be more about the how-to and less about the why. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're gonna to wanna to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're gonna to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're gonna go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're gonna head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're gonna paste the license key into the license key field, click Connect, and that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you wanna be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're gonna scroll up and click on the dashboard link just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the All Posts section of our website. And I'm gonna show you two different examples for setting and optimizing for a focus key phrase. First, I'm gonna show you a page that's already doing really well, and then I'll show you one that needs some work so I can show you how to optimize for a focus key phrase. So let's check out the one that's doing well first. I'm gonna click on this post I have called SEO Conference. And then I'm gonna click on the all-in-one SEO icon slash button up top here. I'm gonna click on the general section and I'm gonna click where it says focus key phrase. You can see I'm scoring a 90 out of a 100 for my focus key phrase. My focus key phrase is SEO Conference. The title of this page is SEO Conference, so I'm getting a green check mark here telling me my focus key phrase is in the SEO title. It's also in my meta description. My key phrase length is good. It's in the URL. It's in the introduction. My focus key phrase density is good. Really, the only thing I can do to improve my use of the focus key phrase and this piece of content is to add it to my subheadings. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get a green check mark on this last item here. So I'm going to click on this subheading diverse speaker lineup and change it to diverse speaker lineup at our SEO conference. I'm gonna change exhibition showcase to SEO conference exhibition showcase. And now just from making those two changes, we can see that I'm getting a green check mark on focus key phrase and subheadings, and I'm scoring a perfect 100 out of 100 for using this focus key phrase in this content, given this content the best possible chance of ranking for the search term SEO conference. Let's go ahead and save that. I'm gonna click my site logo here in your site. It could be your site logo, could also be the W for the WordPress logo. You get back to the all posts section. And this time, I'm gonna click on this post called woodworking course that is only scoring 
a 77 out of 100 for its true SEO score. So once again, let's click on the AIO SEO button up top. Let's click on general. And for this piece of content, we can see I'm only scoring a 54 out of 100 for our focus key phrase. I have the focus key phrase set of woodworking course. If you don't have a focus key phrase set, I'll delete this one to show you what that looks like. You'll just get a blank box here asking you for a focus key phrase. So I'm going to set it as woodworking course and click the add focus key phrase button back to our 54. So it's telling me the focus key phrase is in the SEO title, woodworking course. It is not in the meta description. So let's scroll down below the content of this page to the all-in-one SEO settings section. And then let's see what we have for our meta description. So it's using a post excerpt separator and a category title. It's telling me it's way too long at over 2,000 characters out of 160 max characters. I can guarantee you what's happening here is that there is no post excerpt set, so it's taking the entire content of the post. So I don't want that. I don't think I want separator or category title either, so let's just wipe this all out, and I'm going to write my own meta description. You can also use any of the smart tags here, post excerpt, post content, separator. You click view all tags. You can see all the different smart tags we have available, but I'm just going to write my own meta description. All right, so I came up with this woodworking course. We'll show you exactly how you can build simple furniture with wood. So we can see after I did that, that this line item has already changed from a red X to a green check mark. So my focus key phrase is now in the SEO title and in the meta description. My focus key phrase length is good. My focus key phrase is in the URL. It's telling me my focus key phrase is not in the introduction in that first intro paragraph. So let's see if we can change that. I'm just going to add at the end of this sentence in this in this woodworking course. So as you can see right away, that red X changed to a green check mark. And now my focus key phrase score has bumped all the way up from a 54 to a 75 just by doing those simple things. And keep in mind, we're not just bumping our score up. We are literally increasing our chances of ranking for this term in Google and other search engines. The way all-in-one SEO works here with these checklists is insanely powerful. It just gives you the ability to one by one go through these checklists and really amp up the SEO on page for your content. So let's address the next one here, focus key phrase and image alt attributes. So I don't have the focus key phrase in any of my alt attributes. So let's just go ahead and click on this first image here and then I'm going to click on the settings section here so I can see where the alt text is. And I'm going to say the alt text for this image is woodworking course tools. And then let's grab the second image here, do the same thing. I'm going to say woodworking course sawing. So if I go back to the all in one SEO button, back to general, back to focus key phrase, we can see I've now got a green check mark for focus key phrase is in the image alt attributes. Now, one more item below that. It's telling me the focus key phrase density is low at 0.28%. So we're going to try to aim for more than 0.5%. We also don't want to keyword stuff this page and put it in here too many times. If we do that, all in one SEO will tell us that we have it in the content too many times. There's not much text on this page, so I think I could probably just add it one time and that will amp up the keyword density enough. So let's see, this first one here, we have gather your materials. So this is very easy to spot to place this. I'm gonna say for this woodworking course, you'll need, and then the rest of that content. So yep, just from doing that, we've satisfied the requirement for the focus key phrase density. So this is how easy it is to optimize for a focus key phrase after you've set a focus key phrase using all-in-one SEO. You know, without all-in-one SEO, you just kind of have to be keeping all of this in your head and trying your best to remember to do it all. And inevitably, you're going to forget to do one of these items. So it's just an incredibly powerful tool to have this checklist right here, right in WordPress, right where you're optimizing this content. So that's how to set and optimize for a focus key phrase in WordPress. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs 
that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to edit a robots.txt file. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.